Hey guys, just a little update on old boa. We finally got our headers wrapped. Header insulation is done. Pipes are ran all the way down to the turbo. I still plan to put a heat shield on this side. So if I put a heat shield in there, hopefully it should deter more heat. I had to re rerun my fuel lines and, and move the pressure regulator further back. So we built a bracket for that on the bow cover. And also I moved the fuel filter. It's going to be out here on the, uh, on the fender side covered up with the fender. I've also got the brackets ran down below so I gotta mount them up relocate the coils put extensions there on the bottom so we won't have a problem with with burnt plug wires and everybody says well I hate to change them plugs actually if you go from the bottom it's a uh, Easier in what you do with these four cylinders with the spark plugs coming out the top. Because think about it, there's nothing in the bottom now. Even to get around the starter, the starter, if you unbolt the two bolts, it just falls to the ground. There's nothing down there. A little compact at the top, but kind of rather have it that way. It, takes, it don't take as long to take these headers off. A few minutes, unbolt it from the V bands, and you're done. It's out. Got a couple more things to start up to do. Got to uh, put the belt on, of course. I got, I'm going to run sanitary three inch, a new, new, new pipe to come from the turbo on the coal side. Go stainless steel instead of aluminum. It'll be the same material that's made out of here. So, still got enough out of that kit to do that. Anyway, that's an update for now. Still got to hook the throttle cable up. Little odds and ends stuff. I do get you know, 58 pounds of fuel pressure by turning the key over, which I hadn't been done in a couple months now. It's been a little time. But that's the update for now. Y'all let me know what you think. Comments. Appreciate your follow. Have a good one.